Yar! Welcome to the Freedom Public Library pirate ship. I am your captain, Elizabeth Reimer. Welcome to Pirate Storytime. I want to give some shout outs to my mateys who sent me pictures the past week. Here's Amelia and her feeling sign and her pink monkey. Here's Bennett and his train. Here's Charlotte and her huge mug of hot chocolate. Eliza and June got snow in Kentucky. Woo! -hoo. Here are Evan and Colin with their bell sticks. Here's Haley and her feeling sign. It looks like Tootsie Roll Pops made Anna and Abby happy. Here's Callie and her feeling sign. Here's Linda with her bell sticks. Logan is having a winter picnic. Here's Michael and his train. And here's Rose taking a big sip of her hot chocolate. Here's Weston and his feelings sign. And finally, here are Weston, Callie, and their mom, along with new story timers, Nora and Silas. Welcome to story time, guys. Winter really looks nice in California. If you would like to be included in an upcoming shout out, send your pictures to the email address down in the YouTube notes below. <laughs> okay, are you ready to sing with me our story time song? I can't stay in pirate character this whole time, but do you like my costume? Thank you to Janine for giving me most of it. She gave me this tunic, but I happen to have the striped stockings. <laughs> Anyway, all right, so you ready to sing our story time song? Sit down, it's story time, and we're going to have some fun. Read books and sing some songs, so listen, everyone. I like to see your eyes grow bright. I like to see you smile, because you're all growing up so fast. Let's share this little while. So sit down, it's story time, and we're going to have some fun. Read books and sing some songs. So listen, everyone. Listen, everyone. Our first pirate story today is called How to Be a Pirate. And it's by Isaac Fitzgerald and illustrated by Bridget Berriger. How to Be a Pirate. Cece was mad. Who were those boys to say she couldn't be a pirate? They had probably never even been on a boat. But Cece knew somebody who had. Where's she going? Grandpa? In here, Cece? Look, there's a ship inside a bottle there. Grandpa has a cool house. What's it like to be a pirate? Why do you think I know anything about that? Grandpa asked. And tell me, why do you want to know about pirates? Look, he's got his striped shirt on. Cece took a deep breath. <sighs> because, she said, the boys are pretending to be pirates and I wanted to play too. I even brought my sword. But they said, you can't be a pirate. And what if they're right? I don't know how to be one, but maybe you do? Because of your ship? I know pirates have tattoos, so I was thinking maybe you know all about them. Can you teach me? He does have a tattoo. So you want to know about pirates, eh? Asked Grandpa. Well, I guess the first thing a pirate needs to be is... What do you think? Brave! A pirate seeks out adventure and isn't afraid of obstacles ahead. Look how colorful that picture is. What else? Asked Cece. You have to be... Oh, he's got another tattoo. You have to be... what? Quick! A pirate is ready to react to danger at any moment. Ooh, is that a panther? There they go on the vine in the jungle. <gasps> Another one, Cece asked. It isn't all about danger, though, whispered Grandpa. A pirate knows how to have... What? Fun! Oh, do they dance? Yippee! More, yelled Cece. 
Now it's an eagle. Another thing a pirate must be is... What? Independent. Having a good crew is important, but at the end of the day, a pirate must face her problems on her own. There they go. Whee! Says Cece. But do you know the most important quality a pirate should have? Asked Grandpa. It's something even more important than being brave or quick, knowing how to have fun, or even being independent. Is it treasure? Cece asked, or cannons. The most important thing a person can have, pirate or not, is... What? Love. Oh, look, look his last tattoo. Cece with a heart. Cece ran, her feet swift and her heart strong. Here she goes, what's she gonna do? I'm brave, I'm quick, I'm independent, and I'm fun! Whee! Look at the boys, they're like, huh? I love being a pirate! Look, they love having her be a pirate, I think. Hmm. Do you wanna be a pirate? Okay, it's time for some pirate songs and rhymes. Are you ready for the first one? It's like, if you're a pirate and you know it. Okay, so it's like with your, if you're happy and you know it. So swabbing the deck is like mopping, mopping the deck. So get your mop out, are you ready? If you're a pirate and you know it, swab the deck. Swish, swish. If you're a pirate and you know it, swab the deck. Swish, swish. If you're a pirate and you know it, then you'll hear the winds a blowin'. If you're a pirate and you know it, swab the deck. Swish, swish. Okay. How about you have to dig for treasure, right? Okay, got your shovel out. If you're a pirate and you know it, dig for treasure. Dig, dig. If you're a pirate and you know it, dig for treasure. Dig, dig. If you're a pirate and you know it, then you'll hear the winds a blow. And if you're a pirate and you know it, dig for treasure. Dig, dig. <gasps> Look, there's some treasure. <laughs> okay, say ahoy. Can you say ahoy? That's what pirate, what's what sailors say. Ahoy! That's when they're saying hello to some other pi other ship. Ready? If you're a pirate and you know it, say ahoy, ahoy! If you're a pirate and you know it, say ahoy, ahoy! If you're a pirate and you know it, then you'll hear the winds a blowin'. If you're a pirate and you know it, say ahoy, ahoy! This one's called When I Was One. So there's some rhymes here, and then you could even come up with your own verses with this. If you come up with one, let me know, okay? It goes like this. When I was one, I had some fun when I traveled out to sea. I jumped aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, he said, go this way, that way, forward, backward, when you travel out to sea. Okay, now we were one, now we're two. When I was two, I lost a shoe when I traveled out to sea. I jumped aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, he said, go this way, that way, forward, backward, when you travel out to sea. Can you try that? This way, that way, forward, backward when you travel out to sea because a boat is very a ship is very rocky in the waves right when i was three a bee stung me when i traveled up to sea i jumped aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me he said go this way that way forward backward when you travel out to sea all right Four. When I was four, my jacket tore when I traveled out to sea. I jumped aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, he said, go this way, that way, forward, backward when you travel out to sea. 
Are you doing it with me? Wait, we have one more chance to do it. So when I was five, I took a dive. When I traveled out to sea, I jumped aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, he said, go this way, that way, forward, backward, when you travel out to sea. So you could maybe do when I was six. What would rhyme with six? I played some tricks. I, um, let's see, what else? I tapped my sticks. Hmm, and how about seven? I looked to heaven. I don't know. See what you can think of, all right? Okay, we've got a flannel for you today, and it's called This Old Pirate. It goes like this old man, so it's this old pirate. Here's the first one. This old pirate has a patch, sailed the sea without a scratch. And this is the part you can say with me. With an R, R, R and an I, M, A, T. Can you say that? R, R, R and an I, M, A, T. This old pirate sailed the sea. Okay. Here's a pirate you may recognize. Who is that? Captain Hook, right? He has a hook. This old pirate had a hook, used it to hold a book. With an R, R, R and an I, M, A, T, this old pirate sailed the sea. Okay, what else does a pirate have? How about a, what's that? A map. That's a map to the buried treasure. That's what we're going to do for a craft today. I'm giving you a, a sneak preview. Yeah, so this old pirate had a map. Keeps it handy in his lap. With an R, R, R and an I, M, A, T. This old pirate sailed the sea. What else does a pirate have? How about a bird? This old pirate has a bird, hardly knows a single word. With an R, R, R and an I, M, A, T, this old pirate sailed the sea. And what does he sail on? A ship. Sails on a ship. This old pirate has a ship, travels the world in a single trip. With an R, 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 and an I, M, A, T, this old pirate sailed the sea. And what is he looking for? He's looking for treasure. Look at that. All the gold and jewels. Ah. This old pirate looks for treasure more than anyone can measure. With an R, R, R and an I, M, A, T, this old pirate sailed the sea. R. Okay, it's time to sing about you. But first we'll sing about me. <laughs> what do I have on today? I have a pirate costume. I have a red kerchief or a gold earring. I think I'll sing about my gold earring. Elizabeth's wearing her gold earring, her gold earring, her gold earring. Elizabeth's wearing her gold earring all day long. Please take a bow. Arr! <laughs> Today we have Weston and Callie. Who would like to go first? Weston. What do you want to sing about? My own shorts. Your shorts? Orange shorts? All right. Weston's wearing his orange shorts, his orange shorts, his orange shorts. Weston's wearing his orange shorts all day long. Please take a bow. Callie, what are we going to sing about? Mm, my rainbow skirt. Rainbow skirt. Callie's wearing her rainbow skirt, her rainbow skirt, her rainbow skirt. 
Sally's wearing her rainbow skirt all day long. Please take a bow. So I just want to say that we have a lot of pirate books that you might want to check out at the library. Here are some of them. We also have some nonfiction books about pirates, about what pirates really were like. This is Eyewitness Book Pirate and it's got what it was, look there's a whip and the ropes that they used and the ship, what the ship looked like and there were rats on board. So you can really learn more about what pirate life was like. And here's one called Pirates, Raiders of the High Seas. And one called, What If You Met a Pirate? So, what, what if you met a pirate? So this has lots of information too about it. So, you could be a pirate expert from books here at the library. Here's another book about pretending to be pirates. It's a lot of fun to do that. And it's called Captain Jack and the Pirates. And it's by Peter Bentley. And it's illustrated by Helen Oxenbury. Jack, Zack, and Casper, brave mariners three, were building a galleon down by the sea. That's a, a ship. Up rose the sides and the stern and the bow. Zack, the ship's bosun, worked hard on the prow. The bosun is in charge of all the crew and the equipment. A stick for the mainmast and one for the yard. Tying the two sticks together was hard. A shirt and a bib and an inflatable ring. For cannons, three buckets, just the right thing. Wow, they're building a really cool ship in the sand. And there stood the galleon, fit for the fray, as brave Captain Jack ordered, anchors away. That means pull up the anchors, let's set sail. They hoisted the mainsail, the flag was unfurled, and Jack and his pirates set off round the world. Through oceans unknown, many miles from the land, sailed swashbuckling Jack and his buccaneer band. Oh, what do they see? Ahoy, men, cried Jack with a chortle of pleasure, an enemy pirate ship laden with treasure. Steer a course after them, good bosun Zack. And Zack answered brightly, Aye, aye, Captain Jack. Casper, take care of the cannons, Jack said. Look sharp in the crow's nest, Captain Boy Ted. As they closed in, every man did his duty, hungry for glory and enemy booty. It's another word for treasure. Arr! Look at those pirates. Their proud pirate flag fluttered high in the breeze, and then the ship sailed into stormier seas. The wind became stronger. Hold on to the sail, cried Jack as they battled a tropical gale. That's a hurricane. Down came the rain as the hurricane roared. Down came the sail and then... Man overboard! Uh-oh. The sides of the galleon started to slip. Quick, cried the captain. Abandon the ship! Looks like the tide came in, huh? And the rain is coming. Jack and his shipmates all struggled ashore. We're marooned on an island, he cried. Let's explore. Those enemy pirates were shipwrecked here too. Let's hunt for their treasure, said Jack to his crew. Casper, stay here while we see what we find, said Zack, just in case we're attacked from behind. There they go, up the rocks. The captain and bosun spied out the view, and then a loud voice cried out, Jack, is that you? The enemy pirates, hissed Jack to his mate. We must rescue Casper before it's too late. They ran down the hill and Jack cried, Oh ho, brave little Casper has seen off the foe. And look, here's their hideout. Jack hollered with joy. The pirates have fled, lads, and... Treasure ahoy! 
Jack and his shipmates all gasped in delight as they hungrily stared at the glorious sight. Right, let's divide up our booty, said Jack. Caught you, a voice cried. The pirates were back. Oh, there was no point in struggling. Their hopes were all wrecked. Jack sighed, now we'll all walk the plank, I expect. Mom and Dad getting them dressed. But those pirates were friendly. They shared out their treasure and added three ice creams just for good measure. Ah, that's a delicious treat. Oh, one more picture. Maybe you can play Pirate and Loon Lake this summer. Okay, everybody, stand up. It's time to do some music. And if you have a shaker, go and get it. If you live locally, we gave you shakers. Before, I gave you some shakers that I made out of Easter eggs with rice in it inside, but it didn't seem all that strong. So maybe yours have broken by now. So we got some stronger ones that you can have. And if you don't have a shaker, you can go get a snack container and put some beans or rice in it. Or you can just clap along. It doesn't really matter. Or just pretend you have a shaker. Okay, so this one, it goes like this. I will shake it up and down. Look at me. I will shake it up and down. Look at me. I will shake it up and down. I will shake it up and down. I will shake it up and down. Look at me. All right, so you can make up your own things. If you were here, I would ask you, but you're not here, so I'm gonna just do it myself. I will shake in one big circle, look at me. I will shake in one big circle, look at me. I will shake in one big circle, I will shake in one big circle, I will shake in one big circle, look at me. Hey, are you doing it with me? I will tap it on my head, look at me. I will tap it on my head, look at me. I will tap it on my head, I will tap it on my head, I will tap it on my head, look at me. All right, so let's try and just hold it in your hands and just throw it up just a tiny little bit. Because if you throw it high, whoa, I'll never catch it if I throw it high. It's hard. So if you want to practice just, just a little bit, just a little bit. I will throw and catch my shaker, look at me. I will sh throw and catch my shaker, look at me. I will throw and catch my shaker, I will throw and catch my shaker, I will throw and catch my shaker, look at me. Ha! All right, I will shake it left and right, look at me. I will shake it left and right, look at me. I will shake it left and right, I will shake it left and right, I will shake it left and right, look at me. Okay, one more. I will shake it really fast, look at me. Look at it, it's a blur. I will shake it really fast, look at me. I will shake it really fast, I will shake it really fast, I will shake it really fast, look at me. So you can come up with your own verses, okay, when you have your shaker. Maybe I will tap it on my knee. I will hide it behind my back. I don't know what you can come up with. Think about it, okay? All right, so this next song is by Brian Waite, and he gave me permission to use his song called Shake Your Egg. And we listen to what he says to do, and there's also some patterns, sort of like our woodpecker song, where we copy the pattern, and also some Spanish. Spanish counting, so one, two, three, four. That's how we say it in English. And in Spanish, it's uno. Can you say that? Uno is one. Dos is two. Tres, tres is three. And cuatro is four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Hey, now you can speak some Spanish. All right, let's try it. Shake, shake, shake your egg and dance around. Dance around. Shake, shake, shake your egg and dance around. Shake, shake, shake your egg and dance around. Shake, shake, shake your egg and dance around. And stop. Listen. One, two, three. Shake, shake, shake your egg and do a twist. Shake, shake, shake your egg and do a twist. Shake, shake, shake your egg and do a twist. Shake, shake, shake your egg and do a twist. Shake, shake, shake your egg and do a twist. Shake, shake, shake your
shake, shake your A. Can you twist? And do a twist. Shake, shake, shake your A. And do a twist. Shake, shake, shake your A. And do a twist. And stop. Listen. is called Ten Little Pirates and it's by Mike Brownlow and it's illustrated by Simon Rickerty. This will tell you just how dangerous it is to be a pirate. Ten little pirates sailing out to sea looking for adventure happy as can be. Are they hunting treasure? Are they going far? Ten little pirates all say Arr. Maybe you can help me with the rhymes and the counting. Ten little pirates and the weather's looking fine. Squawk goes an albatross. Now there are, how many left? There goes one. Nine. Nine little pirates searching for their mate. Zap goes the lightning. And now there are... Rhymes with mate. Eight. Eight little pirates looking up to heaven. Whoosh goes a hurricane. And now there are seven. What's that coming? Seven little pirates really in a fix. Crash goes a great big wave. And now there are Six, six little pirates trying to stay alive. Chomp goes a giant squid. And now there are five. Five little pirates spot a man of war. Boom goes a cannon. And now there are four. Four little pirates bobbing on the sea. Cooee calls a mermaid. And now there are, look, he wants to go with the, per the mermaid. Now there are three. Three little pirates wondering what to do. Sploosh goes a water spout. Who did that? And now there are two. What, uh oh, what's circling them? Two little pirates baking in the sun. Snap goes a hungry shark. And now there is one. One little pirate, sad and all alone. No ship, no food, no way home. Oh, 
then one, then two, then three, then more. All the other pirates splutter to the shore. Drinking milk from coconuts, safe beneath the star, ten little pirates all say, Arr! We've talked about pirate treasure and pirate maps a little bit, so we're going to make a pirate map. This is a sample of it. So, if you live around here, you got a piece of paper and some Play-Doh and a container full of gems and shells and coins, pirate treasure, and also a black piece of gimp to make the path for your map. Okay. Thank you to Luann for coming up with this craft and making the Play-Doh and getting all the jewels together. Her granddaughter Vera also helped and Vera made that sample too. So what you want to do is spread the, you might, if you have a rolling pin, you could use it maybe, but spread out the, oh, it's a noisy table. Uh, spread out the Play-Doh to make an island. What shape do you want yours to be? Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna make mine, it's kind of a hilly island. So now I'm going to put the pathway, the map for the map. So it's gonna start here and it's gonna go. She told me that you need to cover up part of it to keep it down. So just a little bit of it, you need to put a little bit like that so that it'll stay down. So every so often just cover it over with some of the island. Okay, so here we go. Gonna go all the way out to the shore over here. Okay. So my path goes in a curl like that. So now I'm going to put some gems and some pirate booty along the way. So see how they did this? Just pressed it down into the into the play-doh, into the earth. Okay. the shells. Oh, there goes one rolling away. I guess I'll leave that one out. I've got some beads. I like these sparkly ones. You don't have to use them all. I don't think I will because I've got so many. Here's a wooden one. I like that one. And here's another one. Oh, a pink one. I like that. some all around the edges. There. So that's good. I'm going to put the rest of mine back in the little container for now. I might add some later. Okay, so now I've got my treasure. This is the end where the treasure is. I'm going to put it like, kind of like how they did it here. I'm going to poke it down into the Play-Doh like that. There, whoops, some extras here. So you'll need to leave it sitting around for a while and then it'll dry and everything will stay in there, I hope. So there's my treasure, my treasure island. And this one, you can see that she made a little, another little tiny island off the coast. So you could do that too if you wanted to or maybe make two of them. So there it is. What do you think? I hope you had fun at, at Pirate Storytime, did you?
I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.